So, you've decided to incorporate global learning into your classroom. Now what? This video was created in an effort to share some tips and techniques for those who are ready to collaborate with a global partner. Here are 10 steps to consider. 1. Begin with the vision in mind. What do you really want to accomplish? Develop the project with the end goals in mind while also considering the amount of time you will have available. 2. Establish a foundation. Explain the purpose of the project to your students. 3. Create excitement. Let them know who they will be collaborating with and why this is an amazing opportunity. 4. Build internal connections first. This is very important. Develop small teams within each institution's class and conduct some type of icebreaker exercise. This should take place before introducing students to their global counterparts. 5. Host a virtual meeting for your teams, those enrolled in your class and those from your global partners class. This can be done using breakout rooms in Zoom or scheduling 10 to 15 minute sessions with each pair of teams. 6. Follow up. After the initial meeting between teams, share contact information with each group if permission is obtained in advance. This is also a good time to assign their first collaborative assignment. 7. Midpoint check-in. Depending on how long your project is, it is suggested there is some type of midpoint check-in. This can be another virtual meeting with everyone or with the teams individually. It may also be an in-class discussion or have them submit another team assignment. 8. Evaluations. Using self and peer evaluations helps to hold students accountable. They can be administered halfway through the project or at the end. You may also choose to use them as part of their course grade. 9. Final submission. It is advised that the students have a rubric to follow. Projects may include a virtual presentation, research paper, or other activity designed by both professors. 10. Reflection. An individual reflection at the completion of the project will help students process their experience. Offer them some prompting questions that support your initial vision, and also allow them to reflect on how this may have impacted them personally and professionally. So just like every class of students is different, every global collaboration will be different. It's important to remain flexible and be willing to adapt along the way. In the end, wishing you much success.